a traveling musician. A traveling uh, I tried I once billed myself as a traveling minstrel psycho, but it didn't work out. It was interpreted the wrong way. So anyway, Rockabilly, what it meant to me, along with inventing the hammer-on thing that later I didn't get to market, um, but I did stick with uh, a uh, traditional form of music. I did invent the uh, slap guitar. You've heard of the slap bass. Well, I was a guitar player, so I, I couldn't take advantage of the slap bass. And I love that sound in Rockabilly, so I invented the slap guitar. It goes something like this. Uh, let me think of a song you do. Oh, Gene Vincent, along with Charlie Feathers, is one of my heroes and uh, probably my dream was to uh, record at Sun Studio and uh, I did get to do that uh, several years ago and I really enjoyed it but anyway the slap guitar goes like this so. here's slap me in death in me in See, that's how rockabilly goes. It's about raging hormones, and uh, so it just, it's just, it's a powerful. So then, I was looking for the ultimate rockabilly lick, and that was, that's from Boomerang. Well, you kick me out your door on a rainy Monday morning. Come on, broken, look like a fool. Well, you spend your dude on the mother galoo. Make your reservations on a please. Boom, boom. Coming back to me, boomerang. That's how that goes. Anyway, uh, that was a song a friend of mine wrote named uh, Michael Jean. And uh, anyway, um, But the rockabilly thing was about those hormones, and uh, a song I liked was, uh, I don't have my record collection in front of me, some of these sun, sun experts will know the, the answer to this, but uh, anyway, the, the, I always went for the up-tempo, the fast, and a lot of times in the 50s they did a, uh, uh, sounds like we got that sun echo here, actually. Uh, they would do the, the up-tempo song on one side, maybe the A side perhaps, and then a, a tender love ballad, uh, or a soulful ballad, or a bowl full of salad, as Benny Hill would say, uh, on the B side, see. And uh, anyway, and I'd always think the B side, well, why do they waste time with this? This musty stuff, these slow, slow songs, terrible, I hated them. And then, I got older, and I said, ah, I see, I didn't have the the uh, emotional wherewithal to deal with such a song, and I thought, okay, I get it now. Warren Smith did uh, Rock and Roll Ruby, I believe, and uh, but the B-side, or one of, one of his sides, was called uh, A Red Cadillac and a Black Mustache, which is kind of a misleading title. Jim Cole is our photographer tonight. He does a good job. He's an expert in his field, I look at. I've known Jim a long time, so I can say that. Anyway, uh, but I didn't I didn't understand the sentiment because I was too young. But uh, as I got older and uh, I fell in love, and then uh, she she left me, and then I moved to Memphis, and I said, well, you know, it's just temporary. She'll call back. You know, it's only been three or four years. You know, well, she, I know she wanted to come down to visit me, but she just never never did um, but she'll get around to one of these days. then I got the phone call she goes I did Jeffrey I want to hear it you to hear it from me uh, I'm gonna get married and uh, just broke my heart and uh, but they'll do that and you'll get a call like that someday then uh, then later you know you find out they have kids with another fella and I break your heart again but anyway this is a that song I was talking about. A long, long introduction to uh, But I'm worth it. Oh, now, who you been loving since I've been gone? Red Cadillac 
and a black mustache. He held your hand and he sang you a song. Who you been loving since I have been gone? He held your hand and he sang you a song. Who you been loving since I have been gone? Anyway, something like that. that that's it. That's the sentiment to it. Uh, thank you, thank you. All right. I'm a sentimental fool. <laughs> <laughs>